let you know Baby, you should let me hold me home Let me be the one to give you everything you want In me, in me Baby, good love and protect Love your imperfection Alright y'all, so God just gave me a very powerful vision to share with you. So, um, I know sometimes and a lot of times we feel like we're waiting on God or we're just waiting for things to fall through. Um, we just feel like things need to move around a little bit in order for us to be blessed, right? We've all been there. We've all felt like, well, maybe in this next season or maybe when I just get it right, right? But I'm just here to tell you today that with God, you have it all and you have it all and more. I just went for like a good little walk um, in this shopping center. And we also um, just was in the bookstore for a little bit. And so as you can imagine, I'm like wore out. You know, we just looked at several stores and, you know, we just had a little journey. So as y'all can see, there's a very little droplet of water in here, right? But right now, in this position that I'm in, I'm, like, very thirsty. Like, I'm very hungry. Like, I'm just, like, ready for lunch, right? It's coming up on about lunchtime. And so, so it's coming up on lunchtime, you guys. And I have, I'm so sorry. And I, and I have this little droplet, right? So, but right now, I'm very parched. I'm very, like, you know, I'm just, like, waiting, right? I'm just waiting. And it's just, like, waiting on the Lord. That's how waiting on the Lord is. So that isn't the message of this, but it ties into it. So, all right, y'all. So I'm sorry, Yelly just made me spill some of it out. But as y'all can see, there is a last little droplet. So, um, you know, literally, God needs. To, God sometimes has to get us to that that point where we are just hungry for Him, right? And so that's what I've seen happen in the world over these past five years when I've been dealing with my situation um, and really just being complete in Christ. So being complete in Christ, taking up your cross, it's all about coming to that point of hunger to where you're saying, I don't want anything if it's not putting God first, right? Um, if it's not honoring the Lord, if it's not for God's glory, um, and if it can't be used in the kingdom, right? So that basically that antichrist spirit, you know, we're staying away from. So I have this little droplet. Um, and so <laughs> mm, that just felt so good on my tongue, right? After all of the journeying and everything. So that was a really good droplet, okay? Um, and it may not have been. See, this is the faithful part. This is the part where faithfulness comes in. So it may not have been that you know, a hot summer day, you're going to, you're going to, um, oh, this is such a good word, y'all. So it may not be this, I kind of like gave this word to my mom for her birthday as well with this little perfume bottle. So that's really cool. It's just crazy how everything is tied together. Big switch, big switch. But anyways, you know, it may not have been that hot summer day going to the, um, going to you know 7-eleven and just tasting that slurpee right it may not be that but it may not be that huge rush and all of that right but it doesn't change how good it is right this was still good i still wouldn't want to do without this just as much as a slurpee right on a hot summer day but it's like we have to know that god is good from the top to the bottom right from the bottom to the top like we have to know that no matter what he is right and nothing can change that and so i don't know who this message was for today actually i do i know it's for so many of you because this freed me you know it freed my soul you know completion in christ is just it's just what god has been trying to push the world to you know um and this is what's breaking out his faithful ones, right? Because the breaking point, the breaking point is our breakthrough as well, right? So like I said, God just needs to bring you to the pit so He, so you can know that he owns the palace. God needs to have you in your darkest hour so you can know that he is the only light. He is your only salvation, right? And 
the Bible tells us that, um, you know, the Lord is our only salvation. The only salvation that Zion, that, um, you know, the only salvation, I'm sorry if I don't quote it correctly. I'll try to pop it up on the screen, but he is our only salvation, right? The only salvation that his people have ever known, right? Um, and so I don't know, I don't know who this message was just this is a message for god's people you know and it's just very clear it's very straightforward um it's all about enjoying god's presence loving god's presence understanding that even just in a droplet or even in a full on rush you know he is still the same god he is still that good because yeah you guys just you know god god always loves us right god is always good However, you know, that separation and that sin and just still seeing in the world, you know, it can still pain us. So this is just, this is just a call, right? This is like a call out to God. When his people are truly hungry after him, when they're truly desperate, when they're truly tired of the sin in the world, right? This is the call. This is the kingdom call. Good morning, you guys. God was just showing me recently after i look back right when we're doing the work we don't understand but when we look back on it we're like wow god you were you were doing your thing the whole time but i look back and i see how you know the sudden decrease happened how the attack began how the enemy just started to kind of invade and the antichrist and so it was like there was a sudden decrease for god's people right but that's why we need to praise him that's why we can praise him because he wouldn't allow it to set us back right if it wasn't going to launch us forward now don't get discouraged because the breakdown is never as blessed or as good or as wonderful as the breakthrough okay that's where you're gonna thrive so keep your head up today ah! Love you. hello you guys it's a beautiful rainy day so Welcome, welcome, welcome. I guess I'm going to do this as a little series, just a post on my personal channel. Um, so, here we are. Um, I just, uh, first of all, I just want to thank you guys so much for supporting my content. Second of all, um, I have a word for everyone. So, I know that... Believers, Christians, people of God have been awoken at this time. I know that we are seeking what it is that the Lord is revealing to us because we've heard this is miracle season. This is the biggest blessing season. And we're just hearing it and hearing it. And we're like, are Christians lying or where is this blessing at? And so I have a word for you guys today um, because there has been much persecution um, but God says, he, he's about to, he's about to show off, right? So God gave me that word last night, but the one that he just gave to me right now was that the reason for the season, right? Um, and it's to fall in love with Jesus because it's in that, that we will experience heaven, right? Um, it's in the holy church right it's in the body of christ it's in the completion right it's in the rising of god's people um and so god says this is the reason to fall in love with him to literally fall in love with jesus and to just be so wrapped up in his in his beauty and his presence and his excuse me his love um just appreciating him you know and and this is the these are the keys to heaven and so the reason why we ask um well this blessing has seemed out of control you know the religious hypocrites may be getting really angry but god says a revival is happening an awakening Yes, um, you know, we've also heard about the fall, but I believe that I believe this is just not a time of mourning, even no matter how much falling or how much separating or how much dividing may be happening. 
I just know that at the end of the day, God is God is so good. Like nothing that God is gonna do is gonna harm us, right? It may feel kind of icky um, when we're going through it, but at the end of the day, God is not going to do anything to us that is not good for us, right? God would not allow it to happen in the first place. So yes, the reason for this season is, you know, and this was just a few, this is like a week ago about where um, I'm just thinking like, you know, we say at Christmas the reason for the season, but it's like, you know, that's just the reason of life. <laughs> and I don't know. It's just, it's just, I really see things turning, you know, I really see change in the, in the earth. Like, I really see just, I just really see God at work. And this is why I come to say, what is the beautiful, what is the beautiful thing about the promised land? This is the beautiful thing, to fall in love with Jesus, to have a relationship with God, right? Because in that, in knowing how good Jesus is, that's how you can know how good God is, right? Because if you don't understand the love that was put up on the cross, then you can't understand any of it. Um, you don't, you probably have, you know, just some false, some facade, right? Almost that's telling you like, in order to know God, you have to be humble, right? God does God resists the proud. So in order to be have a relationship with God, you must first be humble. And I know it seems like, oh, well, you're gonna go through all these rough things, right? And taking up your cross, and then at the end, this is your reward. And it can seem very like draggy almost. But this is why you see like the weight of glory, right? So our temporary trouble is an eternal weight of glory. So that's where that verse comes in, you know. Um, God just really outweighs this world. And so that's why it's through falling in love with Jesus. And that's why that is the purpose of heaven. You know, that is the purpose of the season because without that intimacy, without that love, we end up having Peters, you know, we end up having Judas, right? We end up having, um, you know, these situations where, where the person is not, um, is not able to withhold, where the person can't withstand the whole relationship. Like, it's just, you get to this point where, where your humanness is going to come out in some way. It doesn't have to be any other way that someone else may, uh, um, experience that, but it will come out eventually in some way. And so there's no, <laughs> There's no book that can, well, the Bible, but there's no, like, literal, there's no, um, how do you say it? Like, there's no, like, there's no doctrine to tell you how to do that, right? There are certain things like loving, you know, loving your neighbor. These are certain things that you can only truly, spiritually do. And why do you think it says worship in spirit and truth, right? So... The Holy Spirit brings a different truth out, right? The Holy Spirit can shine can shine a light in this world, right? The Holy Spirit can shake the room, right? So I don't know. It's just it's, this is a revival video. Like someone really it's it's God's church. God's church needs to hear this message. Um you know, coming forward God is just saying really big right now, just coming forward, recognizing your need for Jesus, recognizing your need for, for a new life, recognizing that you need to take up your cross, recognizing completion in Christ, right? And taking those things to the Lord and saying, God, align me, allow me to, to work for your kingdom and not for my own self, not for the enemy, but for you. The double-mindedness, the double heart, like, it, it won't do in this season. You understand what I'm saying? The the conditions that we're about to see, it, it won't do. The lukewarm won't do.
it's like the the mask is being lifted there's no more facade to hide behind there's no more there's no more I- ideas that can save you it's just it's just between you and god i'm saying what do i really have to live for like i said this was a revival video so this was a very heavy word um however i'm very elated that i got to share it with you guys so if you you know would like to share your testimony or if you just have anything um to correspond just you know make sure you comment below and you know i'm always up for good discussion but you're staying blessed i hope that you are just focused i hope that you are just um fruitful um i hope that you're dwelling in the holy spirit i hope that you're walking in the holy spirit i hope that you are um you know humbly walking with your god daily so you know share this word share this word where you know someone could use it so i love you guys so much and thank you for tuning in hey you guys so i look a little crazy right now but I have a quick quick word to just add on to this little serious thing real quick um so i'm watching I the crystal shoes. alexis make sure all right one second make sure you go tune in with her the crystal alexis and it's with two e's um she is just amazing so anointed and honestly just gave me the boost of faith that i needed um so god has come that this is a direct word for his people today so we don't realize how far that mustard seed of faith goes okay we don't realize how far that mustard seed of faith goes right we think sometimes i'll, I'll tell y'all right now five years ago whenever i met my son's father coming up on five years was clearly was well, been 2018 to 2023 so it's it's yeah so anyways, coming up in June, but, um, you know, I felt so led to, to share my faith with him and I knew like, it's just like the whole world and just like what everyone would think of me and just like, oh, this man is not, um, this man is not, this man is not like religious enough, you know, but God was showing me the anointing, right? And so for five years, I've just been going through this this thing of just bringing out that anointing in him and i don't want in the most humblest way but you know i've just been going through going through the things with him going through the motions and i've seen so much i've seen so much progress right um you know recently and he just really recognized his need for jesus um and we can now like healthily communicate you know things that we'd never seen growing up we never saw really we never were really, you know, we both had parents that were split up. So, you know, for us to really see that up close is not really a thing for us, right? But God had put little little encouragements along the way. But I'm just coming here to say today, like, I'm here. I'm like, God, I need new instruction. God, like, what is the new word today, right? And so yesterday, I was just, I was going diligently seeking. I found the Crystal Alexis. And so much confirmation just came to me. And I just seen her pain and what she was going through and her passion for God. And I'm just like, this is a beautiful thing. And the world will tell you, Lily, it's been five years, Lily. Like, you need a new instruction, Lily. Like, you you being slow, ain't you? Like, it's getting mighty bored over here. Like, what is going on with your spiritual life? You, you stagnant, child. But, but the enemy will tell you that. But the boulders, the rocks, the mountains that are being moved, you don't even know, child. The enemy is being is being torn down in every in every wicked and high place, right? And so, hallelujah, amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Ah. Child, you don't know how far your, your mustard seed of faith is going. Do keep your eyes so focused on the Lord, so focused on his mission for you, so focused on the spiritual process so focus on that seed of faith that you planted be so focused on that that you don't let anyone intervene right you don't let family get you down about it you don't let friends get you down about it you don't let the church get you down about it you don't you know and this is what makes you that child of god this is what makes you that faithful one but i love you guys so much and this was just a great word to deliver Bye. um <laughs> i'll be uploading this little series Hi. thing for y'all soon Hi. I didn't get to it today like I thought I would, but um, I'm just waiting on God's timing when to release it because 
you know, that Holy Spirit is that confirmation. Good morning, you guys. So, just in a situation, I'll share some time with you guys. In a little story, you know, when all this stuff is passed. But I just wanted to come and tell you today, whenever I was in this situation and the enemy would begin to attack, my um my son's father and i would say to myself oh well you're the reason that the enemy i'm just you know like coming in my i'm just like he's the reason that i'm being attacked he is doing witchcraft to me like what is literally going on what i didn't realize is the enemy wanted so bad to stop his salvation so when you're being attacked by the enemy know that it's because of the power of your anointing right it's not because anything other than that. The enemy only, his purpose is to kill, steal, and destroy. The only time he's giving you attention, it's because he's jealous. It's because he's mad. It's because he's envious, right? It's.